finding garbage and things like that around you, if you had nothing and had to start over, what could you do with what you got? What you got, kind of MacGyver, right? MacGyver your way through it, but not too difficult. So that's, that's just a can, I know, aluminum can. I'll get to more of that in a minute. A couple of alcohol stoves I, I did a video on. Alcohol penny stove. I did a video on this. I even put fine details as to what, where, why, and how all this is possible. Okay? And do's and don'ts and everything. So all that stuff's in that video. For those of you looking that up, all you have to do is go to the search bar, step on survival, alcohol stove, and I'm sure it comes right up. All right. Um, so for today, if you were in a survival situation, now the tab of these usually break right off. If those conveniently stayed on this tab, this green tab, then you would have something even cooler than what I'm about to make. But since that's not going to happen, you have to envision a hook, a full hook, right? So you would look for the full thing and you would cut all the portions you don't need and keep, keep the rest. Now, I don't know if I can reach in here and cut. I'm sure I can get a little bit of it off. The rest I usually do with pliers. All right. Whew. So you would bend it around. You want to make a hook. You want to strengthen this so it helps if you bend this around. I'll show you in a minute. So I'm just kind of I'm strength I'm bending this and strengthening it. Kind of like with this too. Since it's got that roll, I want to take as much of that and tuck it into itself to make it stronger. Like that. So now I'm getting more of a hook-like design. And for top of this, you take it and you crunch it in like that. Then you want to break this off. You don't need this, this top part here. A lot of people you'll see leave it. You don't, you don't have to do that. Gosh, man. Ugh, there we go. But you don't need to, what you do, take this and bend it. Yeah. That. Well, ha. Now, get your fishing line ready. I'm just going to do some fishing line. Hang on. Small items are hard to grab with my fingers. That's one thing we were saying about survival kits is they make everything so small. You're going to be stuck in one of these situations where you're trying to grab all this stuff and <laughs> be really frustrated. Anyways, there it goes. So I got it now. So, and then this leftover material here. I'm just going to cut that off. I don't need that. Anyways, that is your fishing hook. Right? That is your fishing hook right there. Pretty nifty. And zoom in on that. Maybe you can zoom. Oh, well. It's enough. So now you've got... It is like a the shape of a hook instead of a... See what I mean there? That's what you want to do. And you could do the same thing with strands of paracord. But we got one more task.
for this guy. All right, now for this one, you gotta make use of this stuff. This is just another option for you. I had to clean the coffee out. Kind of want to leave the coffee logo, so let's do this. But I gotta do. I gotta kind of get it started first. There we go. You gotta get it started first before you go. I'm trying to get scissors in there. This is another option for you guys. I mean, it's just something else you could do because there's so many, so many cool things you can do with so many items. And I can go on and on. Kind of off the top of my head here. This is to, if you want to enhance heat, heat and light, heat and light, right? You want to enhance your heat and light. All right, close this up right here. Push that in. You don't need that sticking out. All right, you can deburr this later, okay? I'm not really too concerned with it. It's just me and you here. Uh, but you can deburr that later. Deburring means take off all the sharp edges. All right. Let's get your candle lit. This is just no little option. I know. I'm being silly. Now, probably here. Let me turn this around. Because it would go more like this. That's the reason why I said flip this down. Anyway, like this. So now, when you turn the lights out, all that reflects, and you can pretty much use that. It's already starting to heat up already, but when the lights are out, I'll show you. Can you see the difference in the lighting here? And see now, it gives me plenty of lighting. I can move, gives me plenty of light and heat. I can move my revolver to the table and go ahead and put my rounds in if I need them. Right? <laughs> Trying to give you a practical idea here. Huh, okay. So I made a nice little table there. Well, it's a nice little light. And if you need the light for something like that. But see here? It's more than just a candle. So you can see it lights up that whole area. And it brings it all into this section here. And gives me plenty of working light that I need. Anyways. That's another option for it. I could go on and on and on about uses for a can, but I just kind of wanted this to be an example of more trash, uh, more treasure, right? Finding, that's a, that's a can. Right? And from, from the can, you have the tabs, and the tabs you can take and cut the little hook in them and make fishing hook. But there's, there's fishing, there's like fishing gear hung up in certain areas here you'll find like a fishing hook stuck to a tree that's got a floaty on it so I just want that to be noted of and then over here like that those are Mountain Dew bottles or stuff like that so all these bottles and stuff did you find a clam that's a okay and in the inside of a golf ball because <laughs> there's a golf ball all right so plastic bottle portable water source all right and you could also use it for cordage this could also be cordage if you cut it open because there's a ton of tiny little rubber bands inside here tons and tons one golf ball equals like a million miles of cordage just want to throw it out there but you got to split it open that's just the thing you got to cut it open anyways some more stuff that i wanted to note on this adventure come here 
Now you see that white, that yeah. white rock right there? Can you pick that one up? Now what that one's, what that one is, that's quartz. All right. Now anytime you find quartz, anytime you can find some quartz, if you look around here, that's. All right. Anytime you find that, look, look down here. You'll find chert. See that's yeah. There's there you go. That's a piece of chert, and chert, chert on carbon. You have to spark it. Well, I don't know if this one's a good piece or not, but there's enough of it down here, and you'll see it. It'll be all down here on the edge here, and usually they're by the banks. But that's that's what you're looking for. There's another piece. Come here, Charlie. You're not trying to make anything. Come here. What's this piece here? Hey, Charlie. What's this piece here? Another piece of this. What's this one? Let me let me look at it. What's this one? That's nothing. What's this? So that one's nothing. But sometimes, sometimes you find a good piece, something like this one, and you know sometimes you don't. But the thing is, is as you're walking, you know you ain't got nothing else better to do. But as you're walking, you just start looking through the edges of uh, mountainsides and things like that, and you'll start seeing where they've broken apart. Because what happens? You have all these layers to the earth you start finding all kinds of weird stuff so this is a good spot to look okay just to okay just to follow up on that just as like I was saying if you get stuck in a situation and you're looking for supplies that's that's one that's one right there you need a fire there you go you got the components you need are usually in your surroundings but it's a little bit harder to do it, but it's there. You just got to start looking. And it's good to teach the kids that because uh, he ain't going to learn that unless he goes into Boy Scouts and stuff like that. So, uh, <laughs> to be a Boy Scout. All right. God bless you guys. Take care.